Hi, my name is Onza and welcome back to the next video. In this video, I will be showing you how to make your street grids and neighborhoods in city skylines more interesting. So, in this video, I will be building some a suburb some in a style which is called streetcar suburbs. But it will not be like the gridded streets and to make the most land usable as possible but it will be more like streetcar suburb but it's also led by the roads and I have two main roads here one going he through here and one going through here and this one also has the tram tracks or streetcar tracks I will be switching between different terms in this video because because deal with it. So, first I'll add a crossing node here so people can get to this stop. And now, you should start by making 90 degree connections to the main roads because usually the main roads are connected to this is not really a main main road it's more like an important road and it could be upgraded later but not now it's basically just a more important road than all these other roads so now after you connect all these roads I'll do a double block like two nodes gap you connect these and also try connecting them like this you can also make things like cul-de-sacs which are pretty inter interesting but they are terrible for walkability So now, if I add also this road and this road, I will have basically the start of the neighborhood. Yeah, this is kind of off because there are some terrain oddities and some how are they called yeah there are some terrain oddities and not all roads are connected at 90 degree angles so you can end up with something like this well I'll just add one more road to have it more connected because connectivity is the key to good traffic situation and good walkability so now I can zone this area I will first take the you can zone it for example from the main roads and let be guided by the roads to basically fill in the district. It's not that known of a feature. It basically works that the district brush snaps on the road. Yeah, I'm mainly splitting it into districts. For example, if I want to switch the style of it because this is mainly a zoned build. So now, if I take policies and I set themes, I enable it and I have already a 
I made a, a theme that basically makes uh, which builds basically duplexes, historical American houses and small detached houses. Also some semi-detached as well. And those houses are not like gigantic but they are small. Like the footprint is not that big and also the zoning here is messy, very messy, in fact. So you have to basically fill it like this or you could just do this but this can lead to accidents where you zone something you don't want to zone. And now if we make it faster these buildings will grow and already there are the houses yeah also I forgot to add water supply you can if you want to have an extra challenge you can drag have a self-imposed rule of only putting water pipes under the roads I think city planner place does that but I mostly put the pipes like to cover the most area because I am scared that I will reach the network or node limit so now we speed this up yeah I will increase the residential demand and meanwhile while this grows I will show you how I detail these places I usually just put trees on the sides of the road because it probably looks the best and with those big extra dense trees you can have some pretty decent yeah I really don't like that much the vanilla art style it's like kind of too bright and cartoonish I just added these buildings so it wouldn't be like only those duplexes but I think at higher level there will be only historical American houses I can check but I'll do that off camera I might show you the set later on so just add trees along these roads it hides some of the ugliness and put them near your houses as well some of these trees are also very giant or well are literally like 12 meters high or even taller so you can absolutely use them to hide some weird pillars as well and also it adds an interesting yeah, also trees decrease noise pollution so this can be used to increase land value because there will be lower noise pollution yeah I think you get the point just put trees on those green patches on the roads because yeah this is basically the poor man's version of putting of taking those large how are they called yeah those detailed roads like with trees and it's I think it's also cheaper because they don't have the trees and it decreases the maintenance cost so yeah if you enjoyed this video give it a like if you really enjoyed it, subscribe and I'll be seeing you 
in the next one. So yeah, see you later.